What's up guys? Well, I wasn't going to show this. Uh, I was just going to fix it and pretend it never happened. But I don't want to do that. I want to show you all what I did, where I screwed up. And uh, what happened was I last night I went up and I didn't do anything on the project yesterday. I went up to the loft and looked out the opened the, actually opened the door and came out here. <laughs> First thing I saw was wow, this thing is way out of square i mean i know for a fact the bottom is good and when that roofing tin was on there i mean just looking at the lines i could look at the joists on the deck and sure enough it's out so i've been spending the morning i took all the joist hangers let me turn you around taking all the joist hangers out i moved them over to where they're supposed to be and you can look like at that door and look at that joist hanger and know that it's right there. and also i'm putting flashing down i should have done this the first time but i didn't i don't care if it takes me two days to fix all this which it won't i'll be probably putting the roof back on today uh i want it right and so what we got now if you look up here and there's also going to be flashing right there that's coming today so when water hits the wall which it rarely does it will deflect onto this and this onto the roof and this should have been installed in the first first time i did it but i'm in the process of doing that now i just wanted to show you all that yes mistakes were made and uh, you know it was originally this i had to go back and watch the video i started putting those joists on this end and this was way out of square everything is moved where it needs to be now so hopefully <laughs> we can move on to other things but you know i've got too much money invested in this to to let something go and i'm not going to do it what would have happened is when i got up here to start putting the deck boards on you know it went fine that we got to the end and then and it'll probably been one board been five or six inches off and i don't want that and it and, it, and they would have been they would have looked off from the square of the house so we're redoing it uh, this shouldn't take a whole lot longer, but I'm putting on, I gotta finish putting up this flashing and we're off. So, I, you know, I made mistakes, but I, I found them and I'm fixing them. And this thing isn't, and some of these boards look off because they're, they're loose. I haven't moved them over. See the black marks? That's where they, they actually have to go, but I'm moving around to get this flashing up underneath it. And uh, so this thing's gonna be good and watertight. And when I put the tin up, there was a you know gap here, so that don't now the flashing doesn't matter. But I'm also gonna block that. So all right, let me get back to work. I'm probably not gonna film a whole lot of this. This may go on the next day's video. All right, it's the next day. I have got everything back together and fixed. Flashing is up. I left that because I may do something else with it. Don't know. So all those are now straight. Everything is square <laughs> for the last time. Uh, what I'm gonna start on now is getting ready to, I'm gonna start framing. So what I gotta do, as you can see, I want it to go out a little further than where the concrete ends. I've got four or five loads of gravel coming. They were supposed to come yesterday, they didn't. So I'm gonna dig this down a little bit and I'm gonna fill this in with gravel to where when I, frame it in it's not sitting in the dirt i may put pavers in there i don't know but for now i'm going to put gravel in it so i'm going to frame all these windows out for the screen look at that dude's already built a spider nest in there spider web and so i'm gonna get all this leveled out where i can uh, put gravel underneath and this will be gravel in here anyway because it's it's going to be part of the inside but i've got ideas for these so uh, i broke the blade on my porter table uh sawzall yesterday and i had to dig that piece of junk out i'm gonna tell you what guys don't ever buy ryobi tools they are pure garbage um, so i guess that thing was all right for cutting small limbs and stuff but yeah they're nothing compared to the wall or milwaukee or makita junk junk Ryobi 
All right, man. Let's start framing. Let's see how far I get. Uh, I'm getting a late start. Had to go to town, get dog food, stuff like that. Hey, let's go take a look at this garden real quick. Uh, collard greens coming up. Peppers. Look at that. Big old pepper on that dude. Maters. Everything's doing good. That eggplant's hanging in there. I need to put some seven to that. Parsley. Everything's doing good. Maybe we get down here to these cucumbers. Peppers. Look at that pineapple seed. Man, that stuff's looking good. Betcha. We got some baby squashes, we do. Okra. We gotta pull them prickly weeds out of there. Tomatillo. Potatoes. Look at this green mass. Yeah, them are some cool looking marigolds there. Romas. Look at the cucumbers going. I'm going to have cucumbers out my ears. That's alright, I like them. I just eat them raw. Right out, right out the plant. There's my peppers. Everything is just so green. That is a batch of weeds. I never planted that. But it's nice weeds. They're nice weeds. Majors. This is my biggest one. That's that black prince. Supposed to have a black colored fruit to it. Alright, let's get to building and quit goofing off. I told you guys quit quit distracting me. Alright, here we go.
That is an ugly board, man. Could have laid this against the wall. Framing is not one of my favorite things. By the way, did they ever find out who framed Roger Rabbit? Here's the first wall. It's two foot two foot high, 24 inches. Now what I'm doing is I've actually made this thing a little bigger than what the concrete foundation was. In here is going to be part of the inside. Obviously, I'm going to dig that out. We're going to put in some nice either pavers or some river rock, something that looks decent. Uh, if this was a bedroom or something, no, I would not do this. What I'm going to do is I dug this out. Sorry for kicking the thing. I'm going to come and backfill that with gravel. That way no moisture will ever collect. And that, those are treated in 2x4s, but even treated, they don't last forever. Uh, the, on the ends, that's obviously the concrete for the post. And that's a big chunk of concrete there, but I can get plenty of gravel in there. Good drainage. Uh, I'm going to be working on this whole area and doing, doing a lot of work. So it will work out and well that kind of looks different now that's the same size but uh this will be there'll be two panels of screens and then same thing over there and then over here i got a frame in like that to the sidewalk and a doorway so let me get going on it
and it's gonna go a little something like that uh, one of them finished now with this screen tight system it's important that these it's an inch and a half wide so these need to be good and yeah, no flaws in them and man that was hard to do with this lumber you see here trying to find one with a whole straight edge you know it's, it's just a shame nobody takes pride in making anything anymore lumber is just terrible and then you pay four times as much for it so we're gonna have four panels in the front I only bought four foot wide screen so that's a little under four feet that'll give me plenty extra you'll see when we get to that point and this recessed part's going to be t111 across the bottom it'll be painted the tan color of the house and these will be painted black along with the poles i'll probably pick that up tuesday because uh, i can't put the screen open oh uh, yeah i could but it's easier to paint so that's what i got today i'm gonna i got other things to do i gotta weed eat really bad i gotta do some laundry things like that well, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, give me a like. Uh, we got a lot more to do here. Uh, I'm going to get some more framed out, probably frame this other building over here out. And I'm going to get in because the bugs are atrocious right now. This time of year, these gnats, they just kill you. And under here in the shade, they seem to <laughs> like to come under here. I don't blame them. So I'm going to get in there. Everybody take care. Happy trails.